you're looking at an Amazon commercial and you can't see it right now, but basically they've refreshed their Kindle line, the Kindle and the Kindle Fire. And um, you'll maybe see it during that. We got Greg Bensinger coming to us from Los Angeles, where he's with the Wall Street Journal today, um, to tell us what exactly they have done. They're, but Greg, thanks for being there. It looks sunny. Oh, uh, yeah, it's very nice. Very, I'm sure it is. So, um, so there's the Paperwhite and the new Kindle Fire. Tell us about these devices. That's right. So they have a new Kindle e-reader, the simple e-reader just for reading books that is now lit in a way that you can read it without a lamp. Uh, it's similar to a technology that uh, Barnes & Noble came out with last year. Um, sort of lights up the screen, it makes it easier to read in bed, not bother your neighbor. Uh, and uh, that was just a line of, of, of new Kindle devices that came out with it. The other one is uh, the, the Kindle Fire updates. Uh, these are HD screen Kindle Fires. These, these are the tablets, touch screen, bright colors, all that. Um, and they have two sizes and a range of prices based on what features it has, and that can include uh, a data plan or uh, the, the larger screen. Now, now Greg, the, the, these devices coming out, we know that um, Amazon keeps the prices of them very low or has done in the past, to, and the margins thin because they encourage people to buy things from Amazon, right? That's right. Well. Uh, Bezos today, who presented these devices uh, on a stage here, he kept uh, reinforcing the point that uh, they don't make money on the devices themselves. They want to make money on the content you purchase on them. Uh, it sort of suggests maybe they're selling these uh, at break even or a loss even. Uh, so you're right. Yeah, these, these are competitive prices. They seem to have Apple in their sights uh, with its very popular iPad. And uh, they, in fact, made a, a, a price comparison saying you'd save $400 in the first year buying a Kindle Fire versus a, an Apple iPad. And that is presuming you didn't actually spend all the money on books. I'm presuming. Now, what was the mood like in, in the room there that went, where he was? Were, were people impressed by this? Was there skepticism? How was it? It seemed to be uh, pretty, uh, pretty collegial. It, it was, uh, uh, I think there was uh, a lot of expectation that because of the venue here in, in uh, Los Angeles, there might be some movie component or a television uh, uh, component that they might show off. And so when they didn't, I suppose there was a little bit of disappointment, but, but these, are, uh, these are the next line of devices and I think people seem to be impressed, particularly with the price point. Hmm. Okay, and when do these go on sale? Can I get them now? You, you, can, you can buy them now, but you cannot get them. Uh, there's a, uh, a, a, a slew of dates where you'll start to get them, but they they're all will be available before the holidays. That's important, of course. Uh, and starting uh, in the next week or so, you can get your first one uh, leading it all the way into November. Okay. Very exciting stuff. Thank you very much. Greg Bensinger of the Wall Street Journal enjoying the sun out there in Los Angeles. More on that story on WSJ.com.